Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vinyl Hazard. Today is going to be a little bit of a special video. Uh, I'm going to enter into uh, Mr. Brandon Van Dee's uh, CD giveaway, where he gives away a CD of the thrash metal band Wartooth. Uh, now, for those who haven't uh, heard who Wartooth are, uh, they are a band from uh, Brisbane, uh, Queensland, uh, Australia. Um, as far as I know, they have been active since 2013, so they are a pretty new band. Um, and they have uh, released a uh, full-length album uh, this year. Uh, their first album, I believe. I think they have released uh, one EP and one uh, single uh, also. Uh, if my information is not incorrect and this will be my uh, entry into this competition so um, the stipulations are as following um, so uh, they want to know um, or rather Brandon want to see a um, presentation of uh, a couple of albums or one album I have three albums uh, which features either Division in society or uh, current world events um, Something about climate change uh, and uh, also something about mental health So uh, I am going to show you uh, three albums uh, which uh, have these themes so to speak and the first album I think uh, will not be as such a large surprise. It's about climate change and one band in particular which have uh, this theme uh, as uh, their focal point um, and that is Gojira and this album uh, from uh, Mars to Sirius uh, is uh, an album which they released in the early 2000s I think it was 2002 and they actually have a song here uh, which is uh, titled Global Warming and I thought I was uh, or I am going to um, uh, read a little of the lyrics uh, from this uh, text so you can get a hint of what, what they want to uh, convey to the listener so um, we are taking everything for granted I don't think we should do this now and when I see the smoke all around I feel like I'm not from humankind down there, I feel like glaciers are my eyes and mountains are my head. My heart is ocean and I feel all alone because everybody's wrong. I feel the living. What is this thing that we call hate and that's inside of me? Get out of here. A world is down and none can rebuild it. Disabled lands are evolving. My eyes are shut. A vision is dying. My head explodes and I fall in disgrace. So, powerful words. I think this album, uh, the next and uh, also uh, their newest, Magma, uh, are very um, uh, or are centered around the environmental theme. Uh, so Gujira is a French band and if you haven't listened to them, I would strongly suggest that you do because they have some awesome, awesome music to really entertain and convey messages uh, to all people. So that was the first one. Uh, the next one uh, is uh, a um, um, band which sings a lot about division uh, or current world events, so to speak. They have only released one album and there is a good reason why. Uh, that is Prophets of Rage. Now this is, of course, if you, um, uh, if you haven't uh, listened to Prophets of Rage or perhaps you recognize it, uh, uh, the theme of it, um, it's uh, basically Rage Against the Machine, uh, minus one member, uh, but since Rage Against the Machine uh, uh, now has um, uh, gotten back together, uh, Prophets of Rage are no more, so they only released one album. Now, uh, this uh, uh, album has a lot of great title tracks, uh, which is uh, basically all about division in society. And since this uh, album didn't come with a lyric sheet or anything like that, I have written down 
uh, a bit uh, about one of their songs, one of their popular songs, uh, which is called uh, Un F the World. So um, here it goes. Poverty hit home like a war zone. Check America's pulse, heard a death tone. Division hitting like a bullet to precision. Kill the dream, kill the vision, now listen. What the F are you waiting for? What the are you waiting for? No hatred, F racist, blank faces, times changing, one nation, unification, the vibration, un F the world. So that's that. <laughs> so that was a little about division in society. And the last one I have for you is um, uh, about mental health. And uh, this band uh, has a whole album concepted around uh, mental health and mental illness. And instead of uh, reading a bit of the lyrics, uh, I will just explain uh, what uh, this uh, whole uh, band and their album is about. And that is Sornheim. And the title, or not the title, but the album is called, there we go, uh, Where Hatred Dwells and Darkness Reigns. So Sornheim is a Swedish band. Uh, they released this album in 2017. And uh, they have um, even released a book about uh, what it's about. So all the songs in here represents a person with a mental illness. And um, it's not a album uh, which is only about the macabre of mental illness. Uh, there are a lot of mental illness, of course. Um, but for instance, they have, uh, and I will show you here, the track list. You see uh, the ones who are in, um, like, uh, uh, Cursive. Uh, are instrumental songs and the ones who uh, say are in normal fonts are uh, lyrics based and all the lyrics based are around a person with mental illness so the post for instance explores the theme of paranoia uh, it's about a musician who thinks you have a, a growth or a face uh, coming uh, out in the back of his head and uh, there's even a very good uh, music video, which you can check out on YouTube about that. And it's also uh, about uh, this institution, which didn't really uh, had any great tools to deal with mental illness uh, in these times. I mean, this, uh, I s suppose it um, uh, takes place during like the late 19th century uh, or the early uh, 19th century, perhaps. Um, so that's one, um, and uh, A Silent God is about uh, a man who has uh, a god complex, or um, he thinks he is god. Uh, um, trifecta of horrors. Um, that's uh, about a split personality, a person with split personality. Um, and... Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of, of great songs here. Hestia, for instance, is about um, hatred. Uh, when uh, a person... Uh, so in, in this case, a person gets burned. And um, uh, the like her mental state uh, uh, changes. And um, she gets a very, very vain. She's very angry. And uh, this uh, symbolizes the, the burns on her uh, outer exterior also is in her mind, so to speak. Um, now, uh, do we have more? Yeah. This, uh, I don't know if I can pronounce it correctly. The Cessit Vita Patris um, is about um, a man who suffers uh, from PTSD and alcoholism. Um, it is a very, very unique album, which I really, really recommend people to get. And when you get it, you get this book also about the various persons who suffers from these mental diseases or illnesses. It is um, uh, it's a really, really good, uh, good book. So uh, that's it for me. 
Um, I will leave a link down below to both Brandon's channel and uh, the original uh, War Tooth um, uh, video. So you can check them out. Um, like I said, War Tooth thrash band from uh, uh, Australia. Check them out. Uh, I um, uh, hope um, I will uh, enter these kind of competitions in the future too. It has been um, it's been really interesting to just dig through the archive and see what kind of themes um, there are back here, and uh, there's quite a lot of them. Um, so thank you, Brandon, for this competition, and uh, I hope I see you all soon. Goodbye, friends, and let or rather let the metal gods be with you, friends. Thank you. Bye.